I just discovered something that's gonna be a game changer for everyone in the pay-per-click industry. What was once a task given to interns and junior associates that could take hours is now something that our friendly AI tool that's taken over the world, ChatGPT, can do within seconds. Yup, I did say seconds, so stay with me here. You can use ChatGPT to screen your search terms report. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. A huge part of a Google Ads Manager's job is screening for and excluding searches that are irrelevant. And this will help identify negative keywords to add in order to block bad traffic. And this use case automates that very time consuming process that many ad managers spend 70 up to 80 plus percent of their time on. So now let's go ahead and dive in and show you how to use ChatGPT to analyze your search terms report. All right, so the first step is is to download this Google Sheet and it was created by Michael Schroeder. He is the mastermind behind all of this. So huge shout out to him for putting this together and sharing it with the world. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link in the description below for you to download it from his website. And what this Google Sheet does is it connects with ChatGPT to feed it information and also have ChatGPT feed information back into the Google Sheet. And you'll see in just a few seconds exactly how it all works. Now, after you download the Google Sheet, then you will need to create an open AI profile or ChatGPT login. And once you do that, you'll have to get an API key from your profile and drop it into the settings tab here. In the settings tab, there's going to be a section in column B for you to fill out some information. So in B2, there's gonna be an API key that you're gonna need to drop in. And you're gonna get that from OpenChatGPT in the settings area. It's a unique key that is special to your profile. And what this does is it connects ChatGPT to this Google Sheet so they can talk to each other and essentially send information back and forth so that it can do a great analysis of your account. And then after you input the chat GPT API key, which I have actually done, but I've blocked it out for security reasons, go ahead and fill out cells B3 through B5. So in this example for the company name, I just put in a bankruptcy law firm, Culver Law Firm, company type. I was pretty specific with it and I highly encourage you to be very specific with it too because the more specific you are, the smarter it is and the better analysis that it can do on your search terms report. So company type, I put in it's a law firm specializing in chapter 7s and 13s and then gave it a pretty accurate long description and after giving it that description, now is the fun part. Now we're moving on from the settings tab to the search tools tab. And before we paste any search terms in here, we need to go grab our search terms. And right before this video, I went ahead and I grabbed some search terms from a bankruptcy attorney's account. And I just dropped them here into this Google Sheet, which I'm just gonna copy. And then I'm going to paste directly into column A. So right when I paste it, it's going to do an analysis and pretty much feed everything that I put into column A right into ChatGPT to see if it's relevant for this type of business. So since this is a bankruptcy attorney that does foreclosures in chapter sevens, ChatGPT just went ahead and analyzed all of my search terms and is spitting back a rating on a scale of one to 10. One to four is irrelevant and it will be marked with red and then anything five and six is neutral so it doesn't really know whether it is relevant or not and then seven and above is highly relevant and keywords that we definitely should keep or search terms that are definitely relevant to us so in column c this is where you can do your analysis and this is pretty cool because you could see foreclosure attorney it's rating in a seven so this is something that you don't want to delete or you don't want to add as a negative keywords help with foreclosures in north carolina that is highly relevant and it's marking as a seven. Protecting tenants at Foreclosure Act, that's not relevant. That's exactly what I wanted Chad GPT to tell me without doing a deep analysis of every single search term. And then here I already dropped in some, some search terms that weren't relevant just to see if Chad GPT would catch it. And it surely did. I put in water bottles here, Tesla X, how to take over a house in foreclosure, and it's rating a three and below. So as you can see, this is powerful, especially if we had hundreds or even thousands of search terms that ChatGPT can then do an analysis of without a human actually looking through a bunch of keywords because 
humans could potentially miss something. AI can too, but the beauty of this is we can have a machine look at all of this and tell us and rate pretty much based off of the information that we provided. So I'm really excited to see this tool and I'm really excited to see Chad GPT really level up our game in the PVC world and allow us to save time and do great things. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I post videos about Google ads every week and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.